The great thing about Avatar, the game, is that we've got this choice at the beginning. It becomes a question of what's the right thing for the player. Depending on the choice you make, you get a different game. The choices you have to make are often challenging. You really want to do the right thing for, uh, for the right reasons. And uh, as you become more familiar with your character, uh, his own redemption is sort of at stake. And when Ubisoft came to us, they came to us not speaking about technology. They came to us about a game that was about the choices you make. The choices you make in the game affect the world around you and your play around you. And that's really exactly what the movie's about. You can play the game as an RDA trooper, or you can play the game as an avatar. You have two choices. So there are no good guys and bad guys. And it's a question of, you know, what's the right thing to do? It has to do with perception. If you're told to expect something, that's what you're going to see. So you have to see beyond that. So one of the themes of the film is this idea of changing perception, changing um, the way you view other people, other cultures, and this environment. So, you know, Pandora is kind of a metaphor for that. The players are presented with the same overall dilemma that the, the, the main characters in the movie are presented with. On one side, you have the, the technology, uh, the RBA that came to Pandora to harvest. From an RDA perspective, they're just trying to do a job to get stuff back to Earth. Fighting for the RDA is what every gamer is expecting. Big weapons, a lot of explosions, big vehicles. It's all about your technology. Um, you rely heavily on the gadgets you have, the, the hardware, the, the, the military firepower. You have a variety of, of weapons to choose from, as well as a small arsenal of vehicles. And then there's the Navi. The Navi are the indigenous people on Pandora who've lived there for thousands and thousands of years, living in perfect harmony with the world until the humans arrive. As an avatar, uh, you're going to discover uh, the life, the culture of the Navi, and you're going to find actually a reason to fight for. Right away, your perspective changes. Whereas before, you were kind of looking up like this at all the Navi, but you instantly feel much more powerful. The trees are your friends like they never were as, as a corp. Fighting in your avatar body will we'll have a completely different pace. It'll be more around melee combat. It'll be more about evaluating the situation and being a little bit more strategic about going in. It's an entirely different set of missions. It fits in with the overall story arc, but it's a very different perspective. You're a 10 foot tall soldier. Avatar the Game is basically the story of two worlds in conflict. And it becomes a question of what is the right thing for you to do? And you go down two different paths. When you do that, you effectively get two games in one. You've got great kick butt military hardware. This is good old fashioned chemical powered projectile weapons that throw a lot of brass and make a lot of noise and have a lot of recoil. 